All right, talking about uh, regional events number two and three. So I thought this was a pretty interesting way to do it. I liked having strength and skill combined in, uh, in the same format. I didn't like the team event just because with um, the muscle-ups, if you had somebody who was able to do more specialists to kind of punish the teams that had guys that were guys or girls that had a strength in there. So it didn't let teamwork shine. You know, it's kind of like if you have a, someone on a baseball team that's a really good hitter, you want to put them in a certain spot in the rotation to get more hits. Or if you have a basketball team and you have a great three-point shooter, you're going to make sure he gets the ball when it's, you know, time for the clutch jump shot. And doing that rotation forced the teams to be better rounded. Um, and I honestly had no problem with the, uh, the minimum muscle-ups and the bombing-out rule. Um, I just would have liked it, you know, I just would have liked the teams to be able to excel where their specialists could excel. Um, you know, still have everybody do a minimum of three, or, you know, at least two people get a minimum of three, but let people who are good at something have their time to shine. Um, but that's just personal preference. Rules are rules, so no worth use crying over it. I wasn't a fan of the set starting weights and the set jumps for individuals. Uh, I think it would have been a much more exciting competition if people were allowed to start wherever they wanted and move up in weight uh, however they felt. It would have, I think you would have seen higher numbers for one. Um, I just think I just didn't see what the point of doing it like that was. I guess it made it more of a metabolic event because you had to work fast enough and not have any misses in order to get to the higher weights. Um, I had no problems with the bar weight not being able to go down. I just think that they should have let them start wherever they wanted, and you have seven minutes to work up to a through a max overhead squat. I think it would have been a lot more interesting competition. Uh, people would have had to still have a lot of strategy in planning their jumps. Um, you know, if you went from, say, 255 as your starting weight and were jumped to 275 and you couldn't hit that, you couldn't go back down to 265, for example. Just doing it at the start, the set weight at 175 um, for girls, you know, you saw two really big name competitors that are great athletes, Shannon Alverson and Andrew Hager, bomb out which was unfortunate to see. It made the competition less fun because those are two fun athletes to watch. Um, you know, do a lot for the community in terms of bringing some personality to it. Uh, so that was disappointing. Um, but, you know, they had to make the play if they wanted to stay competitive to start at 175. If there had been a start wherever you want rule, the stronger athletes would have still had an advantage and there really wasn't strength tested all that much compared to uh, last year. Um, and you could have seen the bigger numbers. I, I just think the seven minute uh, work up to 3 max makes more sense. I just think that the HQ put a lot of unnecessary rules in place that kind of muddied the issue. But it was still amazing performances. It was my favorite event of the first day. Um, thought it was pretty good overall. I would prefer just to see a classic lift uh, for the strength test. If for nothing else, then you get to see CrossFit relative to other sports um, and see how impressive CrossFitters have gotten at Olympic or powerlifting. Um, so while that would have been cool, I had no problems with three at max overhead squat. Uh, it's not a good movement for me, so I didn't like that piece, but other than that, I thought it was a good test. Uh, 30 muscle ups for time, I think, for individuals, would have been, it would have been better to put muscle ups into another workout. Um, I mentioned Amanda in my Jackie critique, and you could have tested something else there for a gymnastic skill. Um, anything from handstand hold or handstand walk. Um, plenty of other things on the table just to balance out the weekend and not have so much vertical pulling, but still test muscle up somewhere else. But 
just because I would have done it differently doesn't mean it would have been better.